doing burnouts on Maryland's Chesapeake Bay Bridge, one of the scariest bridges in America. What makes it so terrifying to cross? First off, it's really high, nearly 200 feet in spots, and it's 4.3 miles long from end to end. For some motorists, getting behind the wheel and driving across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge in Maryland is simply out of the question. So given those concerns and more, police were particularly determined to catch this guy. They eventually found and arrested him. His name is Gary Ray Montague Jr. He's 23 years old from Dumfries, Virginia. Authorities charged him with four counts of disorderly conduct and 23 traffic violations, including reckless driving, willfully damaging a highway, and driving a motor vehicle in a manner intended to cause skidding. Montague cut a deal with prosecutors and recently spent a weekend in jail. Legal experts say he got off easy. Safety experts say he's lucky to be alive. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge connects Maryland's rural eastern shore with the more urban western shore between the towns of Stevensville and Annapolis. As a point of reference, if you want to drive from Washington, D.C. to Ocean City, you have to cross this bridge. When the original span opened in 1952, it was the world's longest overwater steel structure. A second parallel span was added in 1973. Because of the location, the direction, and local weather patterns, the bridge can be windy. Furthermore, there are no hard shoulders and the guardrails are low, so there's no place to go except straight, and you feel the gusts of wind. Now, I'm not a nervous driver, but I can tell you from my 17 years of living in Washington, D.C. and crossing this bridge dozens of times to drive to Maryland's eastern shore and back, this bridge is nerve-wracking. So you can imagine how terrifying it is for people who already have gephyrophobia, a fear of bridges, even before they might see somebody doing stunts. Thankfully for anxious drivers, there is a solution, at least for their anxieties. There are three different companies that will drive you and your car from one side to the next for about 25 bucks. Altogether, the companies estimate at least 40 people a day use the service. Given all the anxieties, police were determined to make sure they caught and punished Gary Ray Montague Jr. and set an example out of him. <laughs> court hearing, he confessed, pleaded guilty, and had his 60-day sentence reduced to 58 days suspended, so he spent two days in jail. Burnouts have become increasingly popular at car rallies. <laughs> but authorities say you should never do this kind of stunt on any bridge especially the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Serious vehicle accidents on this bridge have seen cars hit the side and plunge into the ocean. Frightening, right? Well, at least police are trying to crack down on the stunts, a welcome development for nearly everybody who must cross what is already the scariest bridge in America.